Hey guys. <laughs> Sorry about <that>. but <laughs> so guys, I'm back with another video. Today I'm just gonna be doing a copper mukbang. And oh this is heavy. They, he put his into this. But uh yeah, <laughs> so I'm on the phone right now. Well we're actually on a zoom, which is yeah, but we're on a zoom. I got my water, my cold water. And she's cooking right now. We're about to eat dinner, you know. It's just a girls' night in, but on FaceTime, on Zoom. But y'all, yeah, I need. Oh my gosh, look how packed this cobble bowl is. Look, look how much she filled it up. Like it's all the way to the top. Like kava. Like when I tell y'all, kava is the kava. It's kava. And let's stop. Okay, let me let me get into my. Okay, first I'm gonna tell you what I got in my bowl. Let me try to remember everything because it's a lot. First, the splendid greens, then a saffron rice. Then two tzatzikis, one feta, one crazy feta. Then I get grilled chicken. Then corn, tomato, cucumber, the cabbage, um, the pickled onions. I feel like I'm forgetting something. The feta. Yeah, I get. I was gonna say that. I was trying to think of like how it's laid out. And then, yeah, I do get feta on there. And then I get the little pita crisps. And then for my dressing, I usually get it on there. But for the sake of today's video, I got it on the side. I get the balsamic something and then the yogurt dill dressing. And I mix it together. That's just what I got from the beginning. And I never stopped because it tasted good when I got it the first time. So I was like, why stop? But yeah, y'all. I need to do a thumbnail. <laughs> but yeah so this is just my we're gonna be chit-chatting like this is just a girl talk like chit-chat we're just gonna be catching up on life y'all i know i just kind of left abruptly like from youtube i do this i i go on my hiatuses i post like once a year and then leave we know this guys let's not act brand new mm. yeah this is what we making this week next time i'm gonna get extra of the balsamic one what does this even taste like this is good. I never taste this stuff by itself. I only eat it in the bowl. So I don't really know what each thing tastes like individually. But yeah, y'all. How's life? I'm currently... Oh! I forgot to address this big thing in the back. <laughs> this is a blanket with a whole bunch of clothes under it because I didn't want to show all the clothes that are under it. But it defeated the purpose because I just told y'all what was under it. So it don't really matter at this point. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of clean, it's, they're clean clothes. I just need to put them away. But it, it looks better without you seeing all the clothes. But yeah. um, From what you probably hear right now, it probably sounds like I'm in the middle of a manic episode, which I wouldn't doubt if I was. My mental health hasn't been the best lately, but all you can do is laugh. That's my quote of the, of my life. All you can do is laugh. Literally, laugh through the pain laugh but yeah y'all you know earlier this is my friend leah by the way that's that's special not a lot of people get to be featured on my youtube channel so yeah yeah that's special y'all this is it with the with the with the dressing on but yeah you can talk if you want like it's gonna be a chit chat but you want to say anything to the video mm -mm. <laughs> Nothing. Mm -mm. But oh, yeah. Oh, check out my cooking channel. Your cooking channel? Yeah. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna link her cooking channel. Y'all, she's about to promise y'all she's gonna post soon. I'm gonna I'm gonna link her cooking channel at the bottom of this video, and y'all better subscribe or else. Or else. I'm trying to mix it in because it's it's so full that you can't even mix it. Like that when I went in there, there was nobody, and that's how I knew. I was like, they're about to fill up my bowl. I already know. There was only one time I went to Kava and they were being stingy. The rest of the times, Kava be fill, they be, and I get a lot of stuff in my bowl too, so that's a part of it. So, and I hate when people be complaining about their bowl not being filled up, and it's like you get three things, so why would your bowl be filled up? Let's be for real. You need to get more stuff. But anyways, oh, let's talk about how people. Uh, sorry y'all uh, i'm getting a little a lot okay wait let me taste this first before i start talking because my, my mouth is like water okay 
And then the crunchiness from the pita crisp. I don't know if I said that I got that, but y'all can see it. And a little pita crisp on the top make it crunchy. Mm. Y'all, kava is so good. And I love Mediterranean food, so if you're a Mediterranean girly, go to kava. <laughs> kava, sponsor me. Give me a life. Give me a free kava for life at this point, because I can promote y'all. But, yeah. And let's stop this kava versus chipotle debate, because you can't compare the two. They're not the same. They're two different two completely different cuisines and y'all be trying to compare it like Mexican Mediterranean where's the correlation the only thing that's the same as the bowls they both have bowls and they bar they both serve you down the line with all the ing ingredients like let's let's stop that like when I first started hearing that, I'm like why are we comparing the two okay you can compare like how much they fill up your bowl but why are we comparing the taste of the two like you can't, cause I love kava. I love chipotle. I mean, kava is kind of above a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. I just feel like kava is more flavorful. Like, especially what I get, it's just a mix of flavors that you just can't be competed with. Also, I don't feel terrible after eating kava, cause it's actually healthy for the most part. So, just sponsor me. Yeah. Yeah. So tomorrow, me and Leah are hanging out. I'm putting her on the Billie Eilish. If y'all don't know, follow my TikTok, follow my Instagram. I'm going to link that all below. I'm in, well, I don't want to say I'm in a Billie face because I've always loved Billie. If you know me for real in real life, you know that I've gone to her concert before. I be posting Billie edits all the time. So it's just my love for Billie has grown ever since her new album came out. But y'all, I'm about to <laughs> I'm about to get up so I can show y'all. I bought her new vinyl and a, a t shirt. I'm gonna show y'all it. Let me get up. Let me put this down. I'm on the floor by the way. Hold up, I'll be back. Okay, y'all. I'm back. So this is the vinyl that I bought, which y'all are probably like, why do you have a vinyl? You don't have a record player. And you're completely right. I still need to buy a record player. But this is the vinyl, y'all. And she's she explained in her vinyl video that if you cut the along the sides of this, this is one big poster. Which I don't know if I want to ruin it. Like it's not really ruining because you get to see Billy on your wall every day. But it's like, hmm, girl, what you trying to get us into? Mm. But let's take a moment to appreciate the nails. Shout out to my nail tech, designed by Demi. Promo. But yeah, y'all. I'm gonna pull out the vinyl. So this has all the tracks on the back of it. And then when you pull out this, y'all, this is not damaged because of her. Don't blame Billy. I did this. But it has all the tracks on it, all the lyrics on it, which I love. Like lyrics, like Billy. And then the vinyl itself. Side A has um, yeah. I'm not about to go into detail, but y'all see the album. Um and yeah, y'all, I love this album. This is like album of the year. Oh! oh my gosh. It hit me in the head. This is album of the year, y'all. And then I got this. Uh, I got this tank top. Hit this hit me hard and soft tank top. Oh, I want to kind of put in this video a little bit. But let me know if y'all want to see me do a rating of... This is a t-shirt. It's all wrinkled because I had it in the corner. But... Let me know if y'all want to see me do a ranking of the Hit Me Hard and Soft album or just like going more into depth about my review of it or just anything Billie Eilish, anything music. Actually, if y'all want me to react to stuff, I've been wanting to get into reactions also. Hey, you that. Yeah, like I've been wanting to get into like music reactions or like just music okay. reviews and stuff because y'all, I'm a music girl. Like that's just who I am. But yeah, Billie Eilish is always going to eat. I love Billie Eilish. I don't think we we can't compete. Like, you don't love Billie Eilish like I love Billie Eilish. So, that's just what it is. Um, Anyways, so, um, yeah, the album, let me, I'm, I'm ranting, but the album, 10 out of 10. Oh, yeah, what we were getting to. So, I'm, I'm getting Leah into Billie Eilish. So I was like, I got to put you on. Like, I need you to see why I love Billie Eilish. I need to see. I need you to see with your own eyes. Like, I need to see, I need to watch you watch her and see how much you love, I, 
see how much see i need you to see how much i love her that's what i'm trying to say y'all i'm kind of crazy y'all yeah. i'm literally crazy right now i have a burst of energy and it, it, it literally looks like i'm in the middle of a manic episode like y'all i wouldn't be surprised if i had like bipolar i'm not even for real i mean i'm not i'm not even i'm so for real i'm so for real like i'm so for real but yeah i'm like uh sometimes i'll be listening to myself and i'm like are you okay like it my billy i'm trying to get myself under control at this billy thing but she's all i can think about literally but billy <laughs> Yeah, but yeah so tomorrow i'm going to leah's house we're gonna do some errands we're gonna do some girly things like run go to the store get some gas like not not gas not gas but like actual gas you put in the car gasoline because i know what y'all be talking about but yeah we're gonna do that tomorrow then we're gonna come we're gonna go to her house we're gonna watch the world's a little blurry billy stands you already know what that is but the world's a little blurry is a documentary about billy that came out in 2021 it basically documents like how she started like how young she was like and it shows her kind of recording her first studio album and then like her at coachella just different parts of her life like it kind of i don't want to say in the beginning stage but kind of the beginning to like up to that 2021 point but y'all i'm talking too much let me eat mm. So the rice can go in and they can come together. You know, I'm starting to like, like, it's not that I thought I was ugly, but I never thought, I'm, trust me, I've never been ugly. But literally, as I'm getting older and growing into myself, like, I'm starting to love the way I look more. Like, in my natural, in my natural state, like, I used to always feel the need to have lashes and, like, just extra stuff but literally i'm not like i have nothing this is my face this is my skin this is my eyes like i have nothing this is just me and i feel like as i'm in these past like couple of months i'm really starting to love like just who not who i am i've always well i don't know but um i've always thought i was pretty and stuff but like i'm just starting to be feel more comfortable with myself and like accept that this is what I look like and love what I look like like you hear about it but it's different once you actually start doing it like once you become comfortable with yourself and not really care what people think it's like there's nothing that can stop you for real um, I'm gonna nurse my, my motivational bag Leah was hearing me talk about it earlier sometimes I just get these bursts of motivational like i just feel the need to like be motivational and y'all that's what i feel like i'm not even joking i feel like in life i could be so many different things i'm so versatile in the person that i am and this is not even me trying to brag i'm just i just know what i'm worth that i know what i can bring to the table but i feel like I'm very intellectual. Like, I can have deep conversations. I'm very funny. I could switch it to funny. I could I could be motivational. I can give you that motivation. I can be real, give you advice. I can... I can be an artist. I can... I, I don't... I can sing. Okay, don't shoot me. I can sing. For the most part, sometimes I get a little crusty, but, you know, I can sing. That's what they be saying. That's what they be saying. But anyways, uh, what else? Um, I can entertain. And I've always known that, like, I don't know what it it stems from. It could stem from something deeper, but I've always been the, a funny... Well, I feel like since middle school, I've always been kind of a funny person. I don't know <laughs> if it was to... I don't know if it was to compensate for something. Because you know how sometimes, like, they say, like, if you're like you're a bigger person so you feel like you have to be be funny so people don't have a reason to be mean to you or they, you feel like you have to be extra nice so people won't be mean to you yeah i feel like i do kind of relate to that in a way but i've but even 
before all that like i've always been a nice person and i feel like i'm super funny i can make my i make myself laugh i make others laugh like me personally like y'all this is just me gassing myself up like i bring light into the room any room i walk into like i my jokes my my yeah. just my presence like i literally i know like when i come i'm telling y'all when i come into work people literally smile people are like hey joy like hey like like uh. and as soon as as soon as i stop like being all uh like i am they're like oh joy like what happened like you miss your jokes i'm like i know but no but i do wish i could be a little like i i'm serious i don't want to be serious but i wish sometimes i i wouldn't joke so much because sometimes when i'm not in the mood for that or just like normal people think i'm mad or like there's something wrong and it's just like i'm just not in that mood but yeah there's a lot of stuff about me like i could do whatever for real like and that's what i need to remind myself because sometimes i get so deep in my head like y'all like if y'all could see what's going on in my head i'm pretty sure i have adhd but if y'all could see what's going on in my head it's like a it's like the worst it's like a fever dream it's like a carnival ride it's it's like a roller coaster ride like multiple things going on at once like multiple people talking to me like i'm overstimulated with my own thoughts like i wish people like i never open up about that but like literally my head is like a it's like a ticking time bomb it's like when am i gonna explode joy what i literally said the same thing about myself in the head i was like when you was talking about ticking i was like a ticking time bomb. Yeah. That's literally. Yeah, like. Um, yeah, in my, my people don't understand. Like in my head, like you might think I'm a serial killer, like on a low, but I'm not gonna do nothing to you. Yeah. It's not thoughts in my head. Yeah. Like, oh my god, the things I be thinking, I overthink way too much. Mm -hmm. For me, it's not. For me, it's not really a overthinking thing at least i don't think i think for me it's like i'm thinking about too many things at one time and then i start to feel overwhelmed mm -hmm. and then when i feel overwhelmed that's when i feel stuck and i can't do anything and i feel like that's when i start to feel sad so it's kind of like a thing it's kind of like goes down the line and then then it goes to depression like once once all that stuff is going on in my head and I can't control it, I feel like I can't control it, then I start to get like, like, like I said, I get very overwhelmed and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, please, like, like sometimes I literally feel it like in my head. Like, I don't know if it's just like me thinking that I feel it or I actually feel it. Sometimes I'm thinking so many things and like have so many thoughts. I feel like I can feel it, actually feel it at the front of my head. Like, it's crazy but yeah y'all i be struggling mentally but i i, I do really want to start therapy but i don't know what's stopping me i don't know i just and also no nah, let me not open up too much i don't want them to know my whole you know mm. but yeah y'all she's not well she's not um as of lately, what I do to calm myself down when I'm feeling like over, when I'm feeling overstimulated and worrying and all this other stuff I remember, like, well, a lot of my worries lately have been like, what do I want to do with my life? And if y'all don't know, I'm 19, I graduated high school in 2023. So a lot of my questions are like, what do I want to do with my life? How am I going to sustain myself? All these like big questions that I don't have the answer to. And when you start to think about it, it like gets very overwhelming. So that's been a big problem for me. And um, so that, I was going to say something else. See, this is why I think I have ADHD. Um, what was I going to say before that? Oh, I remind myself, this is what I've been saying to myself. I am a tiny speck on this earth and I'm gonna die. Literally, that sounds harsh, but that's literally what I say to myself. I am literally 
we're literally all just here for a limited amount of time like sometimes we try so hard to like be the i don't want to say be the best because it's not i mean it's not a bad thing to try to be the best but like we try so hard sometimes to like for things that don't matter because we're all gonna I'm, we're all gonna die like if you think about it it's just do what you want. I know that's easier said than done because like, obviously you don't want to become homeless. You don't want to be broke, but like, we're literally here for not that long. So do what you want with your life. That's all I gotta say. You have any thoughts, Leah? Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Be who you are. <laughs> be who, yeah, it's Pride Month. Be who you are for your pride. Okay, let me stop y'all. But, um, yeah, um, basically my life lately has been, oh, shoot.
Hey guys, so I'm currently on my lunch break at work. I'm gonna send in my car, but this is the outro to the video, y'all. I never, my camera cut off and there was something, there was something going on, but this is the outro. Um, my What I was trying to tell y'all is, I'm gonna link all my stuff in the description. Make sure y'all follow my TikTok, follow everything, like, comment, like, please let me know what y'all wanna see next. Um, subscribe to Leah's cooking channel. I'm gonna I'm tell her right now and be like, tell me so I can tell them. And everything's gonna be in the description show. So, so y'all just, we can kiki in the comments. Just make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe.